We have talked extensively about the homeless crisis Spokane is facing. Those representing Washington State in this year's legislative session are also talking about it and working to find solutions. A Senate bill that was discussed in today's public hearing is looking to put $4 billion towards the issue. Emily Bloom explains what this could look like. Yeah, this bill would address housing insecurity through the state of Washington. That includes creating permanent housing for the homeless, but also a solution for low-income families who meet an income criteria. It has a lot of the elements that we need here in Spokane. As a region, we are short on workforce housing. We're actually short of ho on housing at all levels. This would be similar to the Catholic Charities housing complexes that are already in our community. Any type of creative financing program to be able to incentivize development of those units and add more capacity and inventory to our system is something that's of interest to us as a, as a community. This bill would authorize the state finance committee to issue up to four billion in general obligation bonds. It's something that we need. It, it's a model that you're seeing some success in other parts of the country. It's something that we're trying to do here in Spokane as well. Senator Yasmin Trudeau of Tacoma is sponsoring this bill. I have family that are across the income spectrum, um, some that are ready to buy homes, some that are on low income housing supports, and nobody can find housing to meet their needs. It would have to go through a vote of the people on the next general election. Everyone wants to address the unhoused. To do that, we need low barrier housing with supportive services and we need low income housing options. Some say a solution like this is exactly what we need. This non-conventional way is the way that we came up with to go big enough and bold enough and soon enough um, with, with the resources that we had. But not everyone is on board. The $4 billion in the bill is equivalent to almost half the state's total debt limit of $9 billion and exceeds the yearly allowed debt service limit by almost $1 billion a year. Officials with Habitat for Humanity have already created solutions, but they say they could use state, county, and city partners as well. These much-needed funds are a physical manifestation of our vision statement. We're working to build a world where everyone has a safe, decent, and affordable place to call home. Now, even if this does make it through the legislature, it would have to go through a vote of the people on the next general election. Reporting in studio, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.